Hi, I'm Thomas Blug with Blue Guitar and now I'd like to show you Remote One. Remote One is the programmable foot pedal for Amp1. It gives you direct access to all the switching functionalities plus it's MIDI and it's programmable. But first let me show you some of the basic features of Remote One. Um, there are two modes. The first mode is called direct access mode. Is when the blue light is off. So now I can see all the functionalities of the amp. I use clean channel, direct access, vintage channel, classic, modern channel. So you can ch choose one of the four channels and combine those channels with a boost and with the built-in reverb and activate the effects loop of amp1. So you have um, control of the basic functionality. Additionally, there is a programmable second master. Um, so, and now I engage the master volume button here, and now this level control becomes active on the master volume. And this is a range of 10 dB. So I can reduce the output volume by 10 dB, which is enough to make a rhythm sound or a lead sound. And of course, any, any step in between here is possible. So you can dial in your favorite volume difference for rhythm and lead. And um, the next button here is the power soak, which activates the built-in power soak of Amp1. Um, which can be controlled here. When I activate this button here, this level control becomes active on the power soak. Okay, so let's go back and show you about the basic how to make a preset. Here is my clean sound. I like to have some boost with it and some reverb, effects loop, give it a certain volume let's say here. So there's still some room for the next preset. And now I make this a preset by hitting the store button, holding it. Now everything is flashing and the next button I press will be the preset. So this is my first preset put on preset number one. Okay, I could have the same sound with a different volume setting and put it on six. So I have to go back to direct access mode. Now it shows me what my settings were. Clean channel, boost on, reverb on, effects loop on, and master volume. And now I do another setting for rhythm. So I reduce, okay, and hit store, hold it, and make it preset number six. And let's have another sound. For instance, I'd like to have a vintage sound. Okay, go back to direct access, switch to the vintage channel, and maybe, just a matter of taste, get rid of the boost, get rid of the effects, and make this kind of a medium loud uh, rhythm sound. So I like the setting vintage, only reverb and a certain amount of master volume and put this on preset number two. So press and hold store, hit number two. This is my preset. Now I'd like to make another preset with the same sound and maybe have it as a solo sound. So go back, direct access, add the effects to this preset and have more volume on the master volume. Okay, store seven. So first, I would like to show you what these presets sound like. So here's my clean tone. Remember, preset number six was lower volume. Mm. 
Number two was the vintage tone with no delay. And number seven was the same sound but with the effects loop engaged and more volume for my solos, okay? <laughs> So you want a preset with a different gain setting. No problem. I go to direct access mode. I hit and hold the boost button. Now this blinks. And my level control becomes active on the gain, which means on the gain for all four channels separately. So I have a gain for the clean sound. I have a gain or volume. Uh, and I have um, one for the vintage channel and a separate one for the classic channel and the modern channel. So there's a big, big advantage now having separate gain settings for each preset. So here's my gain setting. Maybe I like that setting and make it a preset for my other guitar which has more output. So I hold store and select another preset number 3. So this is my strat and this is my Paul or this is more gain, this is less gain. <laughs> so and um, each preset has its individual gain setting and mine this gain is the same like master volume. It will reduce from the analog setting of the gain on the amp. This is kind of unique. So what you do is you put all your individual gains or masters, if you like that, into your presets and you still have the analog control. So that's a big advantage in a live situation. So if you want less gain, you just deduct it here for all the sounds. If you need more, you just increase it on your amp. And you don't have to make it for every single preset. You still can if you want, but in a live situation, there is no time to go into any uh, separate preset. You know, um, the show will be over by then. So this is a very handy feature, I think. And this is why I chose this kind of uh, setting or operation way of operating it with the remote one. Yeah. 